This is the newest and biggest power grip by Ulanzi and it can be used with any action camera so let's get straight to it and take a look. A power bank grip allows you to charge up your camera at the same time as using it so you can shoot all day without having to change the battery. And you can mount the camera directly on top of the grip itself so you can hold the power bank in your hand. The power bank is rated at 10,000 milliamp hour, so this is a big upgrade from the previous version, which was 6,800 milliamp hour. So what does this mean in practice? Well, if we take the One X2 as an example, the battery on that camera is rated at 1,630 milliamp hours. So in theory, this power bank should be able to charge the One X2 battery around about six times. Now this would vary if you're shooting with the camera at the same time and depend on what settings you're using, but generally for most of us, this would get us through a whole day of shooting without having to worry about changing the battery. The grip has a male quarter inch thread at the top, so it will accommodate most compact action cameras and a female quarter inch thread at the base. The thread at the base means you can easily attach the grip to a tripod, which is the perfect solution for powering your camera for long time lapse and star lapse shots. The grip comes with a short tripod, which is eight centimeters long. And even though it's quite compact, because it sits so low to the floor, it feels quite sturdy on flat and even surfaces. For windy conditions though, and on uneven ground, I would use a tripod with a wider leg width just to make it more stable. Both threads have a soft rubberized washer incorporated into either end of the grip, which helps prevent the thread coming undone easily. And there's also a cable included, so for this tripod set up here, I'd plug the USB-C into the One X2, and then come out of the power bank with a full size USB plug. And you can then tidy the cable up using Velcro if you wanted to. When it's on a tripod, you may see the excess cable and the USB connector in your shot if you look down and reframe downwards, but this would be around the tripod area anyway. And if you were gonna look down, you'd have to erase your tripod in your final shot, and you could erase the cable at the same time using an app like Touch Retouch. And of course, if you're doing time-lapse shots, the chances are you're gonna reframe your shots, so you won't see any of the cable anyway. The grip has LED battery charge indicators which show the charge level in 25% increments. And the length of the grip is 19 centimeters, so it's six centimeters longer than the previous model. That slight extra length does make it better for hand holding the grip as your hand is further away from the camera. And this newer version also has a soft grippy handle compared to the smooth slippery handle of the previous version. So it's a lot more comfortable and more secure to hold. I reviewed this grip, which is the new grip by New Bear recently on my channel, and just as a size comparison, this is a lot bigger than the Ulanzi Power Grip. The widest width of the new grip is around 40 centimeters, and the widest width of the Ulanzi Power Grip is around 30 centimeters. The problem with the new grip for 360 action cameras was that the wide width of the grip created that black blob in your hand. The smaller width of the Ulanzi grip means that that black blob in your hand almost disappears completely with some 360 cameras. The wider bodies of the Insta360 ONE R and the GoPro Max hide the grip and it has almost no black blob at all, but because the camera is so close to your hand, you do then have poor stitching, which isn't great. The 30 mm width of the grip is still a bit too much for the One X2, where the black blob is a lot bigger in comparison, but the stitching itself is slightly better, but still not natural. Of course, for non-360 use, where you're shooting with a standard GoPro, or with the Insta360 ONE R and the 4K mod, or the one inch mod, or if you're reframing a 360 camera, the size of the grip is irrelevant, as you can't see it in your shot anyway. And you can reduce the black blob, and improve the stitching even further by adding a selfie stick and moving the camera further away from your hand. But remember, if you do that and you want to charge the camera at the same time, then you will have to add a longer cable. The USB connector sticks out of this grip and if you are charging whilst you are shooting, you have to make sure that this is hidden in the stitch line, which sometimes can be tricky as you seem to run out of thread and you can't twist the camera around enough easily. I think if I was going to use the power grip for handheld use, I wouldn't plug in the cable until I absolutely needed it. And that way you just avoid messing around with trying to frame it out of your shot and it getting in the way. The grip weighs around 273 grams, so it's 70 grams heavier than the smaller BG2. But it's a much nicer length to hold and the extra weight doesn't feel too inconvenient. And a lot of that is down to it feeling like a proper grip with the grippier handle, which is a massive improvement. 
There are definitely some advantages for the extra power and the bigger size of this grip. But the longer size may make it inconvenient for some people because it doesn't make it pocket friendly. But it's good to have the options. Let me know in the comments what you think of this accessory and for more accessory ideas for other 360 cameras you can check out these two videos next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.